Hi friends, today I am going to discuss about the permanent electromagnets. What do you mean by permanent electromagnets? Actually, we know there are two types of magnets. The permanent magnets, like this one. These are neodymium magnets which have 4 mm in diameter and also 2 mm in thickness. I have 5 of them connected in series like this. These are permanent magnets. If you bring these magnets close to a metallic object like this, they will stick on it. That is the nature of these permanent magnets. We have another type of magnet, which is known as the electromagnets. You can simply build one of these by winding a copper or any conductive material around a spool like this. And if you apply a current into these two terminals, and you can make this into a perm or electromagnets. The advantage of electromagnet is that you can control the magnetic power of this device by varying the current and the applied voltage. Okay guys, now let's look at what is the permanent electromagnets. The simply, it is known as the PME. The permanent electromagnet is another type of magnet. Let's say this is a magnet. Normally, it has a north pole and south pole and also the magnetic flux is going from north pole to south pole like this. If you bring a metallic object like a nail or something close to this one, this nail will go and attach with one of these poles. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wound a coil around this permanent magnet. Now what happens is if I apply a voltage across these two terminal, the positive and the negative terminal, this electromagnet will become magnetic. According to these polarities, this magnetic flux can be become stronger or I can make them weaker. The, the functionality of the permanent electromagnet is in normal state, the permanent electromagnet is magnetic. It is like a permanent magnet. If you apply a voltage into this permanent electromagnet, the magnet ability will vanish. If something is already sticked into this magnet, it will fall down. This application is really handy if you are working with drone technology and if you want to deliver a package, this mechanism will be really helpful. Today I am going to discuss how to DIY one of these magnets. Now let's look at what are the ingredients we want. First of all, as I previously discussed, we need permanent magnets and we need some copper wires in order to make the electromagnet. If you can find a thinner copper wire, that would be better. Because when the wires are become thinner and thinner, you can wind a more turns around the permanent magnet and it will draw less current. And also when the number of turn is increased, the magnetic flux or beta will significantly increase. So because of that reason, the permanent, if you can find a thinner wire would be better. In order to design the circuit, I'm going to use these five neodymium magnets and also this thin copper cable. This copper wire is around 42 AWG and I'm going to wound a few hundred turns around this magnet. So winding a copper wire around this magnet will be a little bit difficult. In order to make it simplify, I am going to stick a duct tape around the magnet and then on top of the duct tape, I am going to wound this copper wire. 
Finally, I was able to wind 200 turns around these neodymium magnets. Then, the neodymium magnets are work as we expected. They are so powerful then they're still capable of holding two nails, two screws like this. When I apply a small voltage into this lead, you can see that it is sparking but it does not work as we expected. The reason is really simple. The reason is the permanent magnets are much more powerful than the electromagnet. So in next video, I am going to redesign my permanent electromagnet by adding the same amount of magnets but increase the size of the electromagnet in order to make it more powerful. I hope that will work. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Until next time, I wish you all the best. Thank you.